three occasions people came with the request jesus said i am not able to do that only three occasions people came with the prayer and petitions jesus said no these petitions are not qualified enough you know who are these people came to jesus pleading and jesus said no categorically any example who zero finishing lady came and jesus said first no but when she said even the dogs are eating from the crumbs which was left over he said oh man your faith is so great let it happen to your daughter never disappointed she went back with the joy praise the lord hallelujah so no people with the sickness or any assistance no what the people with the different attitude came rich man also no i will tell you two of his disciples two of his disciples the beloved disciple of jesus saint john and his brother james they came with a prayer and one of the gospel it is said they came with their mother to plead for them when you are in your glory allow my one son to sit right and the other one oh why you could tell this before no i am waiting for that no he said never happen rejected why you know first of all jesus said one who he, one who has to sit my right or left he is already reserved my heavenly father and it is not i who to decide so it was set apart for somebody already better than you praise the lord hallelujah the second reason is the most important reason you know when they came and asked what about the other 10 disciples they were grudging against these two they were grudging against these two yes injustice isn't it told together and suddenly two just went back and said keep us a special role see it and others were indignant jesus said this will not done so if when we ask or make any request to jesus that will be the cause of the stumbling for our brothers and sisters outside it will not happen praise the lord hallelujah we can pray that jesus the next raffle is the one crore rupees let it be mine and i will be very happy jesus is ready to give you that but when i get that one crore what will be the condition of the people around hmm? okay that will become a stumbling block for them and there will be jealousy anger frustration such things when we ask it will not be given no need of asking first thing the second group of people the pharisees wanted to have a sign from jesus pharisees wanted to see miracles from jesus for that purpose they came and requested jesus said no signs will be given to you generations because your generation is a wicked generation and always looking for signs and wonders and even if i am ready to give you two signs only that's the signs of jona and also the sign of one more sign he said ida he said the sign of jona and he said he what two examples ida woman ida is a queen of sheba queen of sheba only such kind of signs will be given meaning what's the sign of jona when jona preached at the nave the whole people had the conversion and repentance and turned back to god 
and what about the queen of sheba she heard about the wisdom of solomon and wanted to hear that wisdom and experience that wisdom the same thing any wonders or miracles that will happen only with these two purpose either to have more desire to see god and his wisdom praise the lord like the queen of sheba if this is not happening that miracle that cure that blessing is temporary that will not last unless it will unite us more and more to jesus and to read the word of god and the wisdom of god like the queen of sheba praise the lord second the sign of jonah unless a miracle or wonder that is happening that should be powerful enough so that there will be conversion of heart and mind in my life even after receiving the cure the blessing if i lead the same life it will be taken away it will not last so therefore such prayers also will not be answered then the third request was from king herod he want to see some wonders and miracles and to please himself but jesus said you are a fox you cannot find any miracle from my from me praise the lord hallelujah so dear friends so when a person filled with the holy spirit the second manifestation is this that we will be experiencing jesus as our lord and savior praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah the third first corinthians chapter 6:19 first corinthians chapter 6:19 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the holy spirit within you which you have from god and that you are not of your own a special knowledge a conviction that i am not my own i belong to god and i am the temple of the holy spirit God has created to become the temple of the Holy Spirit. When I am filled with the Holy Spirit, there will not be any space for any other spirit. But unfortunately, people want to fill their body with other spirits. And that will cause kidney problem, lungs problem, liver problem, this nausea and all other things. but once we are filled with the holy spirit the real spirit the no other spirit is needed in our life praise the lord so those who are addicted with any other spirit those who are addicted with any other spirit if you want to come out of it if anyone in your family addicted with any other spirit whatever it is bring holy spirit and let them have that experience that my body is the temple of the holy spirit as it is the the place of worship like a church or a temple yes my body there indwells the holy spirit praise the lord hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah and the fourth conviction that will happen when we are filled with the holy spirit is first corinthians chapter 12 the whole chapter first corinthians chapter 12 that means you are the members of the mystical body of christ amen you are the members of the body of christ and it is through you god is going to work hereafter it is through us we are the instruments or the members of his body and it is through us god is going to do his mission ministry and that is called the new mission that is called by the infilling of the holy spirit we will be set apart for new mission praise the lord hallelujah so i have for all these things conclude with the example of 
Vincentian congregation. You know, I belong to the Vincentian congregation, Vincentian family. I am a member of Vincentian family. And the Vincentian family is very familiar to you. If you remember Pota, Divine, or Delhi, Faridabad, Mumbai, Goa, Yalavur, Chennai, these are all part of Vincentian mission. Vincentian mission. And it is also known as Pota mission. That may be an easy term to remember. Pota mission. Actually, what is this Pota mission? What is the speciality of Pota mission? How, you, how it was started, you know? There was a man lived in the 16th century, Vincent de Paul. He was not a saint that time. From a very poor family, a shepherd boy, Vincent. And in, near Paris, a place called Paul. That is why Vincent de Paul. Like Francis of Azizi or Francis of Xavier. These are all place names. From there, they are coming. So here, this Vincent is coming from a place called Paul or Paul. So he is known as Vincent de Paul. Vincent de Paul, we call him. Very poor boy from a very poor family. Only one capacity is that. A pure heart. And also devotion to Mother Mary. But utter poverty, utter poverty. So at the age of 16, he believed that the best profession that is known to him is the profession of priesthood. Even some of the villagers, people believe that priesthood is the source that the family can be helped and they can have financial support and everything. So he decided to become a, to join the priestly formation at the age of 16. And four years of training, Nowadays it is 11, 12, 13 years. For him only four years of training. At the age of 20, he became a priest. He was very happy. His family members also very, very happy because they expect that their poverty is over. Because as a priest, then he can get money and he can help the whole family. And his intention also was that if I get a good parish, a rich parish, then all poverty will be solved. All my problem will be solved. So he was trying for that. And even he had a secret desire to become a bishop. If the priest is having this much a source, how much a source will be for the bishops? So with a great ambition, with a great ambition, so I said, for the successful people, either by luck or by their commitment, and so... He tried the second, his ambition, and he tried his best. And as a, an assistant parish priest in a small parish, he got a news. That is the first thing we discussed. Certain people are great by luck. He got a news that one widow, a rich lady widow, set apart all her possession in the name of this young priest in her will. And he got the news that she died. And the will is ready. So he went and when he reached that place only he came to know that one of the relatives of that widow trying to grab everything, then there was legal fight. Finally he was successful. And he believed that he is the most happy person. So collected everything. Sell all the property. Collected everything as money and gold. He was coming back. By ship. From Toledo to France. Paris. <coughs> but unfortunately. The ship was taken by the Turkish pirates. 
most of the people traveled the ship were killed others were taken as slaves and this priest vincent also became a slave all he had achieved so far within seconds vanished and he became a slave first a fisherman took him bought him but fisherman tried with him and said he is good for nothing he is a shepherd and a shepherd is going and fishing no then he was sold again to a chemist and there he got so many medical training there after the death of this chemist he was sent to one of his family relation and there he was as a gardener working but all these days the devotion to mother mary was still there while he was working he was always singing to the kim to the hail holy mother mary but one person was always listening that the lady of the house a muslim lady she was so attracted to this person and his singing and she always wanted to hear the songs of mother mary and also wanted to know about the religion christianity and finally she revealed the truths you know my husband she he is not a muslim he was a christian and he was a priest he left the priesthood left the christianity and came here and married me and we are living together and she started accusing her husband a man such a nice faith and everything you loved for my sake go back go back to your god and she made the arrangement to escape these two so vincent came back to paris with empty hand so the first and second fortunes his own effort gone lack also gone then he as a priest no evil powers nothing but there is only one source remaining divine and there he got a chance to become the chaplain of the queen and there he also working as a parish priest and one day on a sunday mass he was preaching before the mass a lady came and made a request father vincent my husband is terribly sick and we are very poor nothing to eat and no medicine will you ask some people to help us in the preaching vincent said one family in our in our parish is suffering like this anybody can help please do that that evening vincent went that family he saw the house was full of food and other articles one by one everybody from the parish is bringing food and they have no place to keep it he said it is waste after all how much they can eat it is waste but everybody bringing food then vincent thought oh my god is a turning point so he asked the ladies of that parish and he said okay let us be organized so that all the needy people can be taken care of and that was the starting point of the congregation of the daughters of charity the vincentian sisters and we have in bangalore vincentian sisters daughters of charity so far women religious were always in the seclusion they never go out they were always praying inside this was the first congregation when outside for the need of the people serving the people seeing jesus face in the needy and the poor and he was the instrument praise the lord a new mission was opened and again one pious man came to the queen and shared unless father vincent was there my soul will be might be perished and he shared this experience of his though i am looking holy outside but i am a sinner the biggest sinner in the world 
And it is the preaching of St. Vincent, give me the conversion. And this was a shocking experience for the queen. If this holy person is like this, what about the majority in the parishes, ordinary people? She called Vincent de Paul and said, you continue with the preaching, 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 preaching. But as a single person, he was not able to reach all the places. So he collected like-minded priests. And they start a new mission in the church that is called a popular mission retreats, the parish retreats. And they start the men's congregation, the congregation of the mission or the Vincentian fathers. Praise the Lord. So like that, when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, anointed by the Spirit, the new missions will be opened in front of us because God wants to enter into continue his mission in this world. So it was so flourishing congregation in the Europe and three priests in India, Kerala, came to, came, to knowledge, came to the knowledge about this congregation and their mission. They wanted to join in that congregation. But that time, they tried their best. It was not possible. Then they asked the bishop, the local bishop of Ernagulam, okay, will you help us to lead a Vincentian life? Bishop said, okay. And the bishop brought the, the constitution of that congregation, and they started in the year 1904, the Sandhi called Vincentian Fathers VC, Father George Xavier VC. Father Joseph Vetti Uncle VC. All the VCs are started in India. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we try to follow the Vincentian Fathers in Europe, the congregation of the mission, doing the charitable works, schools and other things. And uh, maybe around uh, 1970 or 1918, a new moment started in the church, the charismatic moment. And two of our priests went to Rome. And there they attended a retreat, the charismatic retreat for the first time. Father Matthew, Nikem Barambul, and one of his companions. And they were so attracted with this way of retreat and filled with the Holy Spirit, came back and started preaching. Started preaching. And by the time we have this popular mission started by Vincent de Paul, we have started the popular mission, and the director of the popular mission was Father George Panakel. Name may be familiar to you, Father George Panakel. And every retreat in the parishes, a one group of people wanted to change their life, the drunkards. They want to change their life, but it was not possible. So Father said, you come. At that time, Porta was the center. You come to Porta, and I will pray for you. So they start coming to Porta. First only one, then tens, then hundreds, then thousands. So when these people were waiting to see, like if people waiting there for, to see Father Joss, people were waiting, and he was praying, then others were restless. So they said, okay, you sit in the chapel. They start the daily preaching in Porta, and that number was increased up to three lakhs people on every Saturday. Every day, around more than 500 people then, around three lakhs people every Saturday. Because those days, no other retreat centers available. So the Porta mission started. So it's all continuation, the new mission in the church. And now it is spread all over the world. All the dioceses are having their own retreat centers. All the, there are so, congregations started the retreat centers. Now we cannot count. But everything started from the place called Porta, inspired by St. Vincent de Paul, inspired by Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.